Hello everyone. My topic is one shot voice conversion by vector conversation. My name is Da Yi Wu and my supervisor is Hong Yi Li. We are come from National Taiwan University. And to my knowledge, it is the first attempt using vector conversation technique to achieve one shot voice conversion. So this is our outline. We will first introduce about what is voice conversion and focus our attention on feature detangle based method and introduce about vector connectation and we will talk about our proposed approach and our experiment so let's introduce about voice conversion voice conversion is a task transform the audio of speaker a into speaker b but preserve its linguistic content it has many applications like customization of text-to-speech system, personalized HCI, and privacy protection. In general, we divide the task into two categories, parallel data and unparalleled data. Parallel data means that the speakers in the data set read the same corpus, and such kind of data set is hard to collect. Unparalleled data don't have this constraint. There are two main methods in unparalleled data. Direct transform and feature disentangle. Game based model like cycle gain, star gain, flow based model like glow and word belongs to direct transform. In this talk, we will focus on feature disentanglement method. So, from now, we will focus on the feature disentangle based method. Because of the absence of the pair data, feature disentangle based voice conversion can be seen as a variant of autoencoder. The loss function here minimizes the spectral gradient distance between input and output. Our main target here is not to reconstruct the original signal, but split the embedding space. Our goal is split the embedding space into content and speaker information. If the content encoder and speaker encoder are well trained, we just replace the input before speaker encoder as our target, then the voice conversion is fulfilled. But the main question here is how can we make one encoder for content and one for speaker? Here we list some common methods. For content encoder, we have internalization, adversal loss, vector connotation, and ASR pre-trained model. For speaker encoder, we have one hot embedding, pre-trained model like I vector, X vector, and D vector, and other in. In this talk, we will focus on the model that no need of pretrend like internalization, adversal loss, and other in. Adversal learning is a typical voice conversion method. It learns the feature disentangle by reversal learning. It trains a speech classifier on content embedding. And the job of content encoder is to learn to fool discriminator, but at the same time, it should fulfill autoencoder. If speaker classifier cannot classify any speaker on content embedding, maybe it means that the content encoder cannot encode any speaker information. Here we introduce a network architecture design, instant normalization. Instant normalization subtract the embed space from its mean and divide its standard deviation. It is proved that this kind of design can remove the stale information and in the audio domain. Stealth information may be the speaker information. And it is also very success in voice conversion. So there are two major contributions in our paper. First, we add vector conversation after internal normalization, which eliminate more speaker information. Second, we derive a new method to extract speaker information on the vector conversation scheme. So let's first introduce what is vector condensation. And we start from the typical autoencoder. For autoencoder, we put the audio signal to the encoder and get the encoder output. And we put the encoder output direct into the decoder, which means that encoder output is equal to the decoder input. Mm, vector condensation needs some small modification. First, we denote our encoder output as quantized before vector. And we have a set of learnable vectors. And we denote them as our code book. We compute the similarity between the quantized before vector and each vector in our code book. 
and select the one which is most similar to our context before vector and then project it as our decoder input. Because of the connectation, there may be some information loss between the context before and context vector. But such kind of design can be seen a uh, information bottleneck because only few of vectors can be the decoder input. And information bottleneck is very, very important in voice conversion. Here is some paper related to the vector connectation and forming presentation. This could come from the Tarasky's paper. It described that there may be a set of quantized index can match uh, forming representation. And this paper also showed that um, vector connectation variation autoencoder discuss the speaker information the most. And this is another paper. The left hand side describes the embedding that vector connectation learned, and the right hand side is the international formatic alphabet chart and this is human band chart. They, they are very similar. So according to this paper, maybe we can learn form representation by vector quantization. So for now, we will talk about our proposed model. So let's get into our subject. First, we will look at the, our encoder output, and it is also context before vector. We denote as our context before vector as a yellow circle and it's scattered on the embedding space. Here, different color means the different speakers. Second, we look at the context vector in our code book. From the slide that we mentioned above, this context vector may represent some forming information. So on the third step, we quantize our context before vector to the context space and we put the two slides above together. The yellow vec uh, points means the contact before vector and the blue point means the contact vector. The contact before vector finds the most similar contact vector and project on it. Um, as we mentioned above, contact vector may mean some forming representation. Same forming speaks from different speakers project to the same contact vector. And here is our question. What is the difference between them before quantize, like this vector, this vector, and this vector. Here we have some assumption. We can view the difference between context before and context vector as a speaker embedding. So this is our model architecture overview. First, we feed our auto signal into encoder, get the encoder output, and then we quantize our encoder output to get the content embedding. So here, our encoder output is the context before vector. In the meantime, we subtract the contain embedding from the encoder output to get the speaker embedding. And we take the average on the authors because the speaker embedding is a global information. And then we put the contain embedding and speaker embedding together to, to get into the decoder. In the training phase, we minimize the special grain loss between input and output. So let's talk about experiment. We do the experiment on VCTK corpus, which is comprised of 109 speakers, 400 settings for each speaker, and about 44 hours. We randomly select 20 speakers as our testing set. So on the first step, we train an autoencoder, and it's a general step for future disentangle based model, and it can perform well. On the second step, we test feature disentangle ability. We test both on content and speaker encoder. For content encoder, we train speaker definitor on content embedding to make sure that there is no speaker information in the content embedding. For speaker encoder, we do the testing on speakers. If our method is right, different speaker embedding may separate very well. And in the final, we listen to our converted audio. This is our result a uh, content disentangle experiment. We fix our model and change the speaker definition on our content embedding. And our result on the right hand side, X axis means the context number in our code book, and Y axis means the speaker accuracy. Low accuracy means the stronger disentangle ability. When our context number is small, we have very, very strong disentangle ability. But when we enlarge the context number, 
that this is tangibility drop. When our number is 256, it's almost 50% accuracy, and this cannot achieve voice conversion. In the next step, we put instant normalization before vector quantization. The red line means that the instant normalization without quantization, and the green lines means the quantization plus instant normalization. And the results show that the performance lifts very much. In the lab, we compare our result with Auto EC. It achieves voice conversion by restricting the dimensionality to the context space. It means that if the dimensionality of context space is small enough, then there may be no speaker information can be encoded in. If Auto VC is well trained, it has a very strong disentangled ability. And on this graph, it is the yellow lines. But if we enlarge the dimension of the content space, it is the auto VC wide. It cannot perform voice conversion, and the feature distinguo ability drop. So, auto VC is sensitive to the dimensionality of the latent space, but our model is not so sensitive to the quantized number. Even if we enlarge our quantized number to two hundred fifty six, the accuracy is only twenty percent. And then we do the experiment on speaker embedding. We extract twenty unseen speaker embedding in our testing set and do testing on them. X means female and O means male. There is a boundary between female and male, and it can see that the different speaker embedding can be separated very well. It means that our speaker embedding is very success. So in the final. We human evaluate our converted audios, and the evaluation result is in our paper. So this is our conclusion: speaker embedding can be directly extracted by difference between context before and context after. Vector quantization plus instant normalization performs better. So this is our demo. All source and target audios is in our testing set, and there are unseen speakers. The converted audio is not generated by the model we mentioned above. We use a more powerful model. We ask the connection model between our encoder and decoder. So, because of the strong distinguo ability of vector connection, even we add the connection module, they can also fulfill voice conversion. So, let's just listen the audio. This is female to male voice conversion. Washington is consumed by the crisis. We are really impressed. Sorry. Washington is consumed by the crisis. Male to female voice conversion. It was not hard to feel some sympathy for Baxter. The whole thing was just unreal. It was not hard to feel some sympathy for Baxter. Female to female. Road was closed for several hours. He is given a new deputy minister for transport and plan. Great place for several hours. Male to male. Lockerbie has been a terrible disaster for everyone. They keep the atmosphere in mind. Lockerbie has been a terrible disaster for everyone. Thank you very much.